from Times Square, or really Duffy Square here, and I'm here with a whole bunch of other fellow furry fabricated Americans to celebrate World Puppetry Day, and who knows, I think we're going to get, hopefully we'll get to meet some of the cast of Avenue Q, the hit Broadway, off-Broadway show here, so join us for, join us as everybody gets their hands up for World Puppets! Yeah. Girls have nipples, got to get over. <laughs> Happy World Puppetry Day! Peace, you know. How do you like that? I heard I have a puppet mountain bar over here. I'll be looking for him. So it's World Puppet Day for you today. How are you guys celebrating? Oh, well, I'm here to hop around and rub some elbows with other fellow fabricated Americans. I, I didn't even create that word. That was invented by Greg the Bunny when he was on Fox. Yeah. <laughs> are you a Republican bunny or a Democrat, Democrat bunny? Uh, let's see. I'm, Thank you so much. Actually, I'm with the Green Party. <laughs> Oh, the carrot party, how about that? L-M-P. <laughs> are you going to take on, or are you going to talk to Mr. Trump later? Oh, yeah, wow, yeah. That, that would be, yeah, I heard he's going to be here. I, I, hope, I, I hope I don't wind up with trumped up charges. Ah, I'm going to bump. Oh, thank you. So, yeah. Don't you have eggs and stuff? Yeah, I do those too, but I'm a rabbit all year round. I mean, uh, that, that's one problem with being a white rabbit. I always get Easter Bunny or two early. Easter Bunny or two early. Oh, man, that's the worst. That's yeah, the worst. Like, like being Santa Claus in Miami Beach. <laughs> hilarious. This guy's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Great to see you. Sure. All right, bye. Happy Puppet World Cup Day. Bye. Happy World Puppetry Day! Thank you very much. It's a pole photographer. I mean, a push photographer. I mean, a press photographer. I mean, yeah, we're, you we're know. Trying to make a new, new head. My folks up there hit press, press, press. Oh, my goodness. Well, you know us, right? And, and you have a vest, vest, too. You have a vest, also. We're fancy like that. Oh, yeah. Rabbit's got to look at our vest. The best of the West. Yeah. Right here? Right brought to you by Avenue Q. And uh, we are here, and we are so excited to have joining us some of the best and brightest and most innovative puppeteers in the country here in New York City. Uh, and joining me, of course, are some of my friends from Avenue Q, and they're all going to uh, have a little something to say. And uh, let's turn the page. The idea for World Puppetry Day was actually hatched by a puppet artist in Iran and was sanctioned by the world's leading puppetry organization. Each year, puppeteers and their puppets gather at uh, locations all around the world to celebrate all that is magical and wonderful about puppets. What's uh, the name of the World Lion Puppetry King. Organization? Think of War Horse. Think of Lamb Chop. And we acknowledge that puppets can be irreverent, too. If you've seen Avenue Q, you know what I mean. And, uh, well, if you haven't seen it yet, what are you waiting for? Get, get yourself to the theater tonight. Now, uh, I am going to turn things over to my friend. She's uh, 
kind of pretty and pretty damn smart. <laughs> Cave Monster. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ron. In addition to being one of the stars of Avenue Q, I also am a kindergarten teaching assistant, so I'm very used to these early hours. It's a thrill to perform in Avenue Q eight times a week. The show began in New York City in 2003, so we're celebrating our lucky 13th year here on stage. We're proud of the Tony Award that we've won. There were three in total, including one for the best musical. We want to give a shout out to Rick Lyon, who created all the puppets that you see here today, including myself, Rod, Nikki, Trekkie, Lucy, the Bears, etc. Our show is set in New York City, where people and puppets fresh out of college live together in tandem and go through some of life's thorniest issues such as racism, sexism, unemployment, dating, and, well, porn. <laughs> At the end of the show, we sing a song that should be everyone's anthem, which is that everything in life is only for now, and especially in the light of the presidential election. We all know that's true, huh? <laughs> Here to say a few more words before we begin answering questions from the press is our friend and our favorite cabaret artist, Lucy! <laughs> Avenue Q likes to spread the love and spread the message that everything in life is only for now. It's a simple reminder that what makes you crazy today may be gone tomorrow. Or better yet, it may make someone else crazy tomorrow. At Avenue Q, we call that shot in Freud, right? Yeah! Over the past 13 years, we've altered the lyric in the song Only For Now to reflect the mood of the moment. For years, we sang about George Bush, and then we sang about Fox News, and then we sang about your mother-in-law and a few other things. Uh, and now we have someone with us today that there's certain someone is the current lyric in the song. Can you guess who it is? Is it Ryan with Dump? Listen, listen, I want to thank you all for coming today. I want you to remember who showed up here at 8 in the morning when you go to the voting booths in November. I want to thank all you felt Americans, you reform Americans, and even you Muslim Americans. Thank you. Thank you, Donald Trump. <laughs> uh, now with us, we have the Bad Idea Bears. Can we get a round of applause for the Bad Idea Bears? <laughs> Always causing trouble. One of the things we discovered when Avenue Q first opened was that puppets can get away with saying things that people can't. They can joke and talk about such sensitive subjects as racism, sex, employment, unemployment, religion, and so forth, and not really get into any trouble because, hey, they look like puppets. We have no control over what we say. <laughs> and until this man came along, we thought our puppets could only get away with could get away with such behavior. Boy, were we wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Donald Trump. Yes. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to build a wall so high, so high. You know who's going to pay for it? Who's going to pay for it? The, the tourists. The tourists. Get out of here. <laughs> Thank you, Donald Trump. And once again, to wrap things up, here is Rod. I just want to say thank you to all of the puppeteers who came out today. This is so great. Such a fantastic community of puppeteers in this city. And we are so glad that you were able to join us today to celebrate World Puppetry Day. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 In puppets. Yeah. 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 Yes. Oh, we will now take questions. Feel free to uh, to direct any questions you have to uh, us, I guess. Okay. Yes, of America and Unima, which oh, is yes, the world Yes, yes, Unima, the Union Internationale de la Marionette. And uh, what was the other one? Puppeteers oh, of Puppeteers of America, of course. <laughs> very important to us and uh, to this very special celebration. Okay. On the count of three, can we have Happy World Puppetry Day? Yeah. Sure. Ready? One, two, three. Happy World Puppetry Day! Thank you all for coming. Well, uh, being a puppet myself, a uh, fabricated American, as I like to call us, uh, 
you know, having a day to celebrate us and uh, everything that puppets do is very important. Uh, well, we have a show tonight at Avenue Q at New World Stages uh, here in New York City, and uh, we're actually doing a very special uh, ticket uh, thing for World Puppetry Day. We just bring a puppet to the box office uh, an hour before curtain. You can get a twenty-five dollar seat, which is quite a bargain. If you ask me. <laughs> Yeah, we 
Puppetry Day. Who oh, no. And 
And uh, we are here in Times Square celebrating with all kinds of puppets from all over the city. And uh, yeah, I'm from Avenue Q and we sponsored this little uh, get together. Well, we'll see. Got any glasses? Uh -oh, what about tonight? Oh, well, uh, tonight at Avenue Q, which is playing at New World Stages, uh, we are doing a very special ticket offer. If you come to the box office one hour before curtain, so uh, from 7 o'clock on, uh, you can get a $25 ticket if you bring a puppet with you. We are going to fill all the seats with puppets and people and have a, a great old time. <laughs> Happy World Puppetry Day! I'm a beaver. You're a beaver. Oh, okay. You've you been building any dams lately? Well, you know, I try to get out and do it sometimes, but it's hard around here in city life, you know? There's not too much around for it. Well, I'm pretty sure with the sea levels rising, we're probably going to need your uh, construction skills, you know, down the road. Oh, that's a good point. You're absolutely right. Yeah. So, what do you think of World Puppetry Day? Does it make you feel proud? Oh, yeah. It's nice to be seen the puppet pride around here. Oh, yeah. There's too much opportunity like that sometimes around here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, they're around, but they're kind of hard to uh, dig up, uh, if you know what I mean. You know, I'm doing it. Think of me, but think that's from a rabbit, you know. Who knows? You think. I absolutely. You know, I was worried it was going to rain at first, and I was like, I know I could handle the water, but I don't know about everybody else. So. I, 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 I was kind of hoping the rain would keep up. So it wouldn't come down. <laughs> and look at the look the rain capped up, didn't come down. Hi, I'm Francis. I came all the way from under the sea for World Puppetry Day. <laughs> under the sea, under the sea. <laughs> do, 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 do. We don't know the words, do we? <laughs> well, take it from me. So, it was great, very good. That was great. I have, I have my own song too. Oh. I love it. Hey, yeah. you remind me of like Sigmund and the Sea Monsters uh -huh. and the, all that stuff from uh, Sid and Marty Croft. Oh. 60 hippy dippy stuff. Whoa! I'm going to have to so, check that out. Yeah, but what's your story? Oh, so my story is I am an only child and I live under the sea and I am in ninth grade. <laughs> and I'm what? in ninth grade at at sea school and it's really great and I really love kelp burgers those are my favorite and tortoise hockey you sound a lot like that uh, hippie fifty one from uh, uh, oh. Sesame Street oh. <laughs> the, the, the really sensitive one. Oh, I, I am a little bit sensitive just, it's kind of hard being covered in seaweed all the time <laughs> but I like to think that people see me and not my seaweed is that true do you see me or my seaweed I don't have x-ray glasses, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to know. Maybe not. We're not, I'm not, a, I'm not friends with benefits yet. No, no, we're not, we're not quite at that point yet. <laughs> but you have a beautiful voice. And you, oh, thank you. And, 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 and a song? I have a, oh, we have a song. Um, well, I'll just do the chorus for you. Okay. <laughs> show my darling, show my show. Show I love you so, but you don't know. When I see you dancing with me, I don't know what to do. I just freeze. But I really wish you'd see me, not my seaweed. Oh, that's so tender. Oh, thank you. And true. I really like. Since the fifth grade, and it's been a few years now, and, and I just really am hoping that one day we can be together. Look at me! It's a yellow submarine. Yeah! Yeah! Back to the old. Oh, I love this one. Is there a book face around here or something? Yeah, that's a book. Yeah, I feel like a yellow submarine right now. Always oh, having records. Yeah. 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 So what do we do here? So, Mr. Rabbit, what is your, what is his name? Oh, my name? Yes. Oh, I have Rapid T. Rabbit. That's short for Rapid Transit Rabbit because I take the subway a lot. No. Nice. Yeah, you know. So, what do you, how do 
do you feel about the role of puppetry in media today? Like, what part that it can play in media and so forth? Well, I play a part. I mean, I have TV shows, so I must be playing a part. I, I don't just play a part. I play a whole. Oh. Not to mention living in a hole in the ground. But what's the point? What's the point? Me and my arrow. And the low row. Yeah. Yeah. Want a row puppet in the media today? Um, well, you, you know, um, television is a medium so cold that it's neither rare nor well done. <laughs> so how did you feel about Donald Trump? Did you know? Did you fly? You fly? Uh, a little bit. Oh, okay. What's he going to say? Let's through? I, I like the train. Yeah, okay. Maggie, how do you feel about the role of puppets you in, in media today and the role you might be able to play? Um, you know, puppets have a very special place um, because they're able to talk to kids in, in ways that uh, other characters can't. You know, I mean, those animated characters, really, I mean, they don't even, they're like virtual, right? And um, I just think that there should be more puppets on television because um, we're just cute, we're fuzzy, and we're just, we're an extension of actually a human being. Oh, well, okay, from Duffy you know, Square, Times Square, Times Square in the heart of Midtown Manhattan, this is Rafferty right here for World Puppetry Day! Yay! Yay! Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! Ah!